My name is Karen Cox and I'm Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the University of Nottingham and also a Professor of Cancer and Palliative Care. And it gives me great pleasure to be able to introduce this film to you and just show some of the ways in which people have chosen to remember Nottingham with the gift in their will and the crucial difference that this is making to our university. In the 1920s, Jesse Boot donated the land which now forms part of the University Park campus and aided by a public appeal which was supported by the people of the city of Nottingham raised funds to build this magnificent Trent building from which I'm speaking to you today. Knowing that the university is built on the philanthropy and vision of Jesse Boot and that this was supported by local people who gave their own money in support of that vision is incredibly inspiring for myself and those of us leading the university today. There are many areas which your gift could support, enabling you to help the area of the university which holds the happiest memories or has had the most significance for you. This could be through supporting students through scholarships, grants and bursaries, supporting great research which is genuinely changing people's lives, or helping to support the campus and the resources that mean that this place is an inspiration for students and staff to work and study. Yes, well I graduated in uh, 1965. In my honours degree was in politics, though in my last year I did perhaps as much philosophy as politics. When Michael Cowan died, I was the executor of his will. Uh, he had no family and in his will he said that the bulk of his estate could be distributed to such charities of my choosing. And so I thought, well, Nottingham University is a good charitable institution. It has made a huge difference for our PhD program. We are able to recognize excellence. We are able to provide some form of funding that is merit-based. Um, and we are able to signal to students what it means to be excellent. To be honest, the scholarship was a blessing because it's not really easy to uh, live as a PhD student right now in the current economy climates. The scholarship was timely and I couldn't be you know, more thankful. It's going to go to my research expenses, uh, buying books, um, accessing journal articles, and uh, making you know, accommodation plans for future conferences and field work. Well, the Children's Brain Tumor Research Center was launched in 1997 with the university's uh, appeal at that time. And I think it uh, struck a chord in the public's mind because it affected children. It was about a serious illness in children. And that the university was seeking to use their research expertise to help these people who presented uh, very distressed uh, and in very early in life with a, a life-threatening disease. Since 1997 when we launched this campaign, it's been an astonishing journey of meeting people. Because the people who started giving in the early days with people who'd had a direct personal experience and often they'd lost children and uh, I often have met them and known them for many years. And then other people give who've known, heard about their stories and uh, it's a very powerful process to give money and it has a big impact on everybody involved in the process, the person giving, the organisation receiving it and then the researchers uh, participate doing the research and then of course the children who benefit from the research as a result of it being translated into practice. And uh, we couldn't have done the Children's Brain Tumor Research Centre development without the donors and uh, the impact uh, has got our plane to take off and uh, so hopefully we'll be able to meet their long-term needs of making us travel in a very positive way to a better future with this particular group of diseases. We're very lucky, thanks to Bob's legacy, we've been able to completely revamp the library. Um, new shelving, uh, which has enabled us to store the books uh, much more efficiently and effectively. Um, and new computer services um, and generally a redecoration and a complete revamp of the library. I think I'm proud to say that uh, Lincoln Hall Library is now one of the, the best libraries amongst the, the University Hall system, so we're very grateful to Bob for that. As a student studying here, I mean, it, it's just absolutely invaluable, anything that can be given to us. Um, the use of the space here and the fantastic use that the money's been to is, um, you know, a fantastic example 
of how the money is used to aid students directly. You know, we do really see the benefits. We recognise that making a gift in our will is probably one of the most significant gifts we will ever make. After we have thought about family and friends, it gives us the opportunity to consider those courses which have been closest to our hearts during our own lifetime and enable us to give something back that will have a lasting impact long after we have gone. We value enormously the support that is illustrated by the pledging of a legacy gift and I would like to personally thank you on behalf of the University if you have already decided to remember the University in this way. Anyone planning to leave a gift in their will to the University of Nottingham is invited to join the Revis Circle which has been set up to thank those individuals who've supported us in this unique way. The Revis Circle is named after William Henry Revis, who was one of the first individuals to give to the University in this way. In the 1920s he gifted a significant sum to what was then the University College, worth probably over a million pounds in today's money. Those funds were used to support scholarships and bursaries for students who would not otherwise have had access to a full education. Today those funds are used to support postgraduate students in their study and pays their tuition fees. The Revis Scholarship was perfect for me because it was a scholarship for part-time students and there's not an, as much support for part-time postgraduates as there is for other undergraduates and full-time students and um, so it was really relevant to me. It was also for people who are on lower incomes and at the time of applying I had a full-time job which had then been cut down, my hours significantly cut down so I was really struggling in terms financially with my tuition fees and was concerned I might have to actually drop out of the university. The experience of being at the university had always been my dream to do a Masters. I'd went to Leeds, I'd always regretted not coming to Nottingham, it's my hometown, so to come back and be able to do a postgraduate course in the subject I was so interested in and passionate about was a dream come true. I feel like being able to have completed my Masters due to the Revis Fund has massively increased my employability. I'm hoping in the future to be able to work for the government in the civil service and I'm really hopeful that the fact that I've now got my Masters, which is due to the fund, means that I'll stand out from the crowd and will increase the potential of me getting a job there. If I were to speak to somebody who was thinking about leaving a gift to the university in their will, I would definitely encourage it. It's made a tremendous impact on my life and I'm just one of many recipients of all the various funds from the university. If I was to become successful in the future, I'd definitely be able to hope to leave a gift to the university in my will. Somebody did that for me not knowing who I was or my personal circumstances, so I'd really like to be able to help somebody else in the same way. Uh, I think you know there are a few things in the world that, will, that you, can, you can make a you know, mark like that by just giving your name or giving the name of someone you love uh, to something you know, that long-lasting. Finally, I might add that uh, I have set aside a sum for, for the uh, university. Every little helps. And whether it's 500, 5,000 or 50,000, then it's going to help uh, somewhere where I spent a very happy three years. I hope this film has brought back many happy memories of your connections with Nottingham and that it has inspired you to think about the contributions that you might make through a gift in your will. Your gift can make a crucial difference to the university and for generations to come. <laughs>